Hello and thanks for being here tonight. I'm Roseanne Haven and I'm Peter Albrecht. A News 5 update now on the woman and two children found dead yesterday in their home in Sims. Today, the sheriff says the mother killed her children and then took her own life. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is at the scene now. And Haley, the sheriff said the children were brutally murdered and now we know exactly how they died. Yeah, Nancy Johnson drowned her two year old son, Jacob Johnson, and her five year old daughter, Mia Johnson. Sheriff Birch also says that Mia Johnson's throat was cut open. This photo was sent to us from her family, the mother and her kids all smiling and happy. But yesterday, tragedy struck. Such a waste, such potential, such smart people. And, and bright kids. Neighbor Rick Hamilton mourns the loss of his neighbor and friends. She was sweet. She was giving. So she was the one who invited me over for Thanksgiving. Today, Sheriff Paul Birch confirms that Nancy Johnson drowned her two year old son and five year old daughter. When you enter the back door of the home, there's a sofa to the right hand side and the children were positioned on that sofa. And the mother, Nancy, was found hung in a closet. Nancy and her husband had been in the middle of a divorce and custody battle over their two children. Birch has confirmed that the day before, Nancy left a suitcase, money, and her phone with the neighbor. Which was odd because she'd given it to them the day before. Birch says that the husband is not a suspect and that he's been cooperating in the case. But the sheriff adds there are some questions that still needs to be answered. There are some loose ends that need to be tied up. Um, um, you know, there's some things that, that we've been made aware of that I'm concerned about and I, I don't want to uh, point fingers or speculate and, until we get some, some of the documents, you know, but, but I think that based on what I'm hearing, you know, it's highly likely some, somebody within the system dropped the ball. The sheriff adds there's still more investigating to be done about the circumstances that led up to this tragedy. In Sims, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.